Cons Locky. So back at it, back in Jeremiah 18 and 17, it says, I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will shoot them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Okay, and let's look up this word calamity for edification's sake and exhortation's sake. Because the reason why we're going through so, so much hell, more so than any other nation on the planet, because we're God's chosen people and chastisement are, you know, is, is issued out to those who he loves for correction, reproof. Like it says in 2 Timothy 4, 16, the scriptures are, all scripture is for reproof, correction. Okay. So these scourges mentioned in 2 Ezra, um, what's that? 2 Ezra is the 16th chapter are for our correction to repent, to turn back to the Lord, to be spared from his terrible judgment. And the reason why a lot of our people are dying now is because they were not predestined. They were not predestinated and, and, and preordained to do that. So don't worry, worry not how the wicked shall be, um, shall be punished, like it says in 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, but rather how the, the, the righteous, the elect, shall be saved. Okay? Guys, you got to be spiritual minded to understand that, man. That the righteous will be how by Shemesh Shai will be fulfilled, pursuing Isaiah 46 and 10, whether you like it, understand it, believe it, accept it or not, man. All right? Now, just dealing with this word, uh, calamity, means distress, disaster. <laughs> Slavery was a disaster, okay? J Jim Crow laws was a disaster, man. See? All right? The Spanish Inquisition was a disaster. The Battle of Alamo was a, was a disaster. The Battle of Wounded Knee, both of them, in the, in the, in the late 1800s and early uh, 1970s, was a disaster, man. Okay? These are all, acts, these are all accounts of history that, that, that's fixed through biblical prophecy on... The hell that Israel was to catch. So when you said when 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 when, when Baba uh, Rasan Shakur says thing like, oh well, where where was where was where was Sky Daddy Jesus when you were when when your babies were getting fed to alligators? Hey, pursuing a Micah seven nine, we would have bear our indignation for uh, for displeasing the Lord, not doing what He told us to do. He said He would give us an abundance of blessings if we follow His law, statutes, commandments. We didn't do that, so He meant exactly what He said when He put curses upon us, man. Okay. Lean not on your own understanding. Okay? Prophecy is a testimony of our Lord and Savior. Prophesy means to say before, and these things were to be declared. Okay? Be to be fulfilled in these last days, and that's exactly what's happening. All right? So the Lord turned his back on us, man. He turned, he turned his back on us in a, in, a, in a time of our calamity, but he was not to forsake us because he knew that, that he, he, predestinated, he predestinated and preordained for a, on a small remnant, the elect, to come back to him. Okay, so I'm in this off in Jeremiah 32 and uh, start at verse 34. It reads, but they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to, this, to defile it. Okay, we, we, were, we were worshiping uh, idols, like, like even nowadays with uh, Islam, you know, worshiping uh, 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 Allah through the Kabbalah stone. Okay, which is a moon worship because of the symbol of the little moon symbol of the Islam of Islam, it goes back to uh, the worship of the constellations and the stars, prophesied in Jeremiah the 10th chapter. You see, Buddha of war, Buddha of happiness, uh, Santa Maria, okay? Going back to uh, Semiramis, the queen of heaven, you see? It's all idolatry, man. We, 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 gave, we gave ourselves, we were given over to detestable and abominable things, idolatry, lasciviousness, unclean spirits, mainly kept in, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, Cherished in Babylon the Great, prophesied in Revelation 18 chapter. The sinful kingdom, the bloody city, the golden oppressing city. So what, what, so what, what, what Rasan Shakur is saying makes sense, but he, he's not piecing it all together. Okay? When you do that, you can, you, can, you, can, you can lay stumbling blocks before your audience, and you yourself could be a stumbling block. Jeremiah 32 and 5, and they built the high place of Baal which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause the sons and the daughters to pass through the fire to Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Okay? So back then we were, we were, we were uh, sacrificing our, our infants, newborn babies, and, and, and people you know, uh, 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 within human sacrificing to these gods. And that's the, that's the vibration these pagan holidays goes back to, especially Halloween. Okay? All right, so our people are still in, 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 indulging in, in the ways of the heathen. Okay, when the Lord made, he, he consecrated us from these, 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 these heathen. He, he, set, he severed us from them, pursuing Leviticus 20, 20 and 26. Okay, he said that we would be the form of all things. That's why Jake invented everything in slavery. We invented everything. The, the so-called slave masters, these devils, took credit for everything. 
That's a part of the curses, man. When he said he was going to pour the curse upon us, he meant exactly that, man. And we were to drink of the cup of indignation. Now it's time for Esau to drink it. And he wants guys, he wants, he wants, he wants uh, faithless Jake and a hopeless Jake like Baba Rasan Shakur, you know, to, to be in that mindset, stay in that mindset so they can be destroyed. Because there's only one straight and narrow gate of right, uh, uh, to the righteousness, man, to receive their salvation. And that, you know, and that's the how by Shimmer Shai. Believe on him or be destroyed. Perish on his side, man. If you don't repent. All right. Jeremiah 32 and 36. And now, therefore, thus said Yahweh, the God of Israel, concerning this city, whereof ye say it shall be delivered to the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Like it says in Jeremiah 24 and 9. He was to give us over to this calamity for our hurt, for our reproach. That's why we're considered nothing, even though we're the best people on the planet. There's only one source of, of, of divine wisdom, not your understanding, that, that explains these things. And that's the scriptures on what happened to our people. Jeremiah 32 and 37. Behold, I will, get, I will gather them out of all countries, which I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath. And I will bring them again into this place and I will cause them to dwell safely. So the Most High Yahweh is going to send Hamashak and Shai back to this realm to, to gather the elect, pursuing the St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay. And take us back home to Jerusalem, man. And he's going to this, he's going to crack the clouds with the chariots that Esau classifies as UFOs because he knows what these what these uh, the origin of these vehicles and he doesn't want everyone to know what they are because it would open up a can of worms, man. And this devil doesn't want that. Those are the snares that guys like Baba Rasan Shakur can't seem to, you know, uh, shake. <clears throat> you know, for lack of a better term, you know, and that's that's. That's of their lot for the whoever, whoever that, you know, whoever is predestinated to, you know, be taken by those snares. And we're not, pre we're not, we're not, we're not preaching to these people. We're not aiming, you know, we're, we're not, we're not aiming to preach to these people because we, we understand that the two thirds are not going to get it. But we don't know who the two thirds are. So we minister before the four corners of the earth. Like, like it says in the, at the end of uh, uh, St. Luke, I believe it is. So St. John, it's like it, Jeremiah 32 and 38, because it says in the 37, Verse 37, we're going to dwell safely. We're not dwelling safely right now, man. We're in land, because we're in the land of our captivity. We're in the land of our enemies, man. Mainly the, the main land of captivity, America, meaning bitter. All right, Babylon the Great, the great land of confusion. Well, all, manner, all, all manners of wickedness are just justified here as if it's righteous. That's why the Jim Crow Joe signed a decree for, for uh, Transformers to be protected. Case in point. You see? We have the unction to know all things for those who, who could receive it. Jeremiah 32 and 8, 38 rather. And they shall be my people and I will be their God. And I will give them one heart and one way. Okay, that's straight and narrow gate of righteousness. Pursuing of St. Uh, Matthew, uh, seven, uh, um, uh, St. Matthew 7 and 14. And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. You know, and through the fear of the Most High, Yahweh, we persuade all men. Pursuing 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. On the highways and byways, a chief place of concourse to warn our people. Okay, repent, come back to your God, else he destroys you. We, we pray he don't destroy us. Say, so we reciprocate that same love to our people. Like Yahweh Shai told Apostle Peter, he asked him three times, you love, my, you love me, feed my lambs with his wisdom, not your understanding. That's what we're doing. You know, to, 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 to provide that perspective on why things are the way they are. Jeremiah 32 and 41. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good and will plant them in this land as surely with my whole heart and with my whole soul. And that's Jerusalem, man. The motherland, Persina Galatians 4 and 26, where we were scattered out of and where it is currently inhabited by the, the Gentiles, man. That, you know, mainly them, them devils that claim to be us. This is prophecy being further fulfilled if you could receive it, man. Jeremiah 32 and 42, for thus saith Yahweh, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. And that's the land of, and that includes the land of milk and honey, Jerusalem, where we were, we were, we were cast out of in slavery. Okay. Now he's going to, the Lord promised to take us back there to receive everlasting peace and prosperity. Okay. Rulership, immortality. These are the mysteries of, of Yahweh, all right, the mysteries of heaven of Yahweh. Those only given to us a, a small remnant, man. 
So, you know, so, hey, Baba Rasan Shakur is a, is a perfect, you know, example of those who are not going to get it. Especially because of his, his, his age. So, I'm going to end this off, man. I'm going to, this, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm essentially done, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more of this clip. And by the way, you know what I'm saying, if, it, you know, if, if the footage goes out, call Allah, me, how about Shema, my Shekhar, Shabba, Rachak, Wada, Shabba, Shalawam, Shabba, Yashada, Wada, the house of David, Laba, Chayim, the elect, all right, whose names are written in the book. All right, who we who we minister this truth before, okay? Uh, Bobby Ball, Kwame Ashala, Shalom Amti All right, I'm um, going to continue to play this clip. From this evil entity, from this evil liar and thief, got you waiting on some white man to come back and save you. <laughs> You've been tricked. You've been lied to. You've been deceived, family. And I know there might be a lot of backlash behind this video, but this video speaks nothing but the truth. That's right, family. All that Sky Daddy Jesus was created at the Council of Nazia in 325 AD. Where did he get that from? Where did he get that from, man? Now this is common knowledge, but who who's who's known for pushing this knowledge? The 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 uh, the prophets of Israel on the highways and byways, man. So you see, he's heard, he's come across his truth before. Let's 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 further expound on that. Under the rule of Constantine, he never existed. He's a fragment of your imagination. And that's true. But come all the way with it. Cause don't just come all the way with it. Come all the way with the truth. Come all the way with the truth. Tell us his name. Tell us what he looks like. Tell us who he came to die for. Don't just say, "Oh, well, nah." He he never looked like a you know he he never looked like a a, a so called white person. That's one component of the truth. Come all the way with the truth, man. He's a made up god from the enemy, from the Roman Catholic Church, from the Jesuits. That's right, family. Peace and love, put up the lights and shares, shalom, shalom, wam. Right here, shalom, wam. Who, where did he get that from, man? Shalom, wam. Where did he get that from, man? He's come across the truth, man. He's just mixing doctrines, all right? Because, you know, you, the scriptures say to purge out that, you know, purge out your leaven, man. Okay? They who preach... Preach, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I'm going to end it off in this last scripture. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to let him continue to talk. Assalamu alaikum. I kneel here by the time of mine. I love my family all the time. Well, your love is an action. If you loved your family, then you would be pushing the truth in its entirety. You see? Hey, a spade is a spade, you know? And I rock with the cat. And I rock with this cat because his content is anti-establishment. But you got to call a spade a spade. The Lord is not a respecter of persons, man. Pursuing the Acts of 10 chapter. Mm -hmm. All right. Put up the lights and share, family. That's pretty much it, man. I'm going to end it off here. St. John 7.38. My phone about to die, so. St. John 7.38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. Shalom.